Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm going to do another edition of the Ghost Series. Now I wanted to speak a little bit about a pretty historic event that happened very recently. The Cuban Embassy opens up in Washington, D.C. Now, I actually never thought I would see this in my lifetime. The whole idea, or even the concept, of Cuba having an open embassy in Washington, D.C. just seemed unthinkable to me. It seemed unthinkable that America would allow that to happen. It seemed unthinkable to me that unless they totally crushed Cuba and the Cuban Revolution, they would allow this to happen. They would allow this to happen with a Castro in power. We're speaking of rule Castro. But it, it has happened. It has come to pass. Now, ever since America announced they're going to try to normalize relations with Cuba, I've been very skeptical of America's intentions. You know, because, you know, the Soviet Union had normalized relations with America, but Cuba is not the Soviet Union. And we don't live in those times. The Soviet Union had the military and resource capability to fight off American influence and maintain socialism. But Cuba's not in that position. Cuba's a small island nation that's been through decades and decades of economic sanctions and, and embargoes placed on it by America and by the imperialists. Cuba has, a, has its growth and its socialism stunted due to all these things. But despite all that, Cuba's been able to survive and actually, in, in some sense, thrive despite all these handicaps. But now you have Cuba and America going through a process of normalized relations with each other. Now it's very obvious, due to the fact America is a capitalist society, or capitalist economy, and it's very imperialist. But there's only one reason why they want to normalize relations. Overall, overall overreaching, excuse me, reason is they want access to the resources, potential capital, and labor in Cuba. Because Cuba does need a lot of development. You know, because they said they've been stunted through all these embargoes and sanctions. And suddenly America wants to come in and say, hey, want to be friends? And I'm sure as soon as everything gets worked out and a lot of um, embargoes and sanctions get lifted, all these American companies are going to swarm into Cuba. We need to do uh, direct foreign investments. That's where direct foreign capital goes in to develop projects and things, right? You know, they slowly get control of stuff. You see this going on in Vietnam uh, uh, a lot more these days. You know, and eventually they dismantle socialism, effectively, over time. And they take away from the Cuban people. The Cuban people will again fall into the slavery of capitalism, slavery of imperialism. Now, is Cuba wise enough and smart enough to prevent this? Can I have normalized relations with, with America without America taking over effectively the country and taking everything away from the Cuban people and reinstituting full on capitalism? You know, I'm kind of mixed on this one. Will that happen or not? It really depends on how the Cuban government plays this. And of course, Raul is playing a very dangerous game here. It's a lot at stake for Cuba. You know, all the things the revolution fought for, and all the rev all the things the revolution stands for is now at risk, big time. You know, so that's pretty much my thoughts on it this time. At this time, I want to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. First time you've seen me, hey, subscribe, give this video a like, spread it around on the social media if you really if you really enjoy this. Until next time, this is me, John Dole, here in Tokyo. Check it out.